Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today's video is some things that I have bought recently, some makeup, uh, yeah, makeup cosmetic type things that I've bought. It's supposed to be a different video. I was going to vlog, or I have vlogged, my granddaughter number four, her 12th birthday. Oh, I cooked. I decorated. I made a balloon arch. We had 15 people were having it outside uh, over, and I decorated the carport, and then I decorated this. We have a screened-in porch where I put the food so flies wouldn't get to it. I decorated it. I just cooked. I, I took you around from room to room all day long and got it all ready to go and everything and I had accidentally uploaded it on the wrong section and deleted it. It's just a long story but it got deleted and got deleted off my camera. I even bought a program to try to get it back on my camera again and it's gone. Gone, 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 gone. So I will have to be a little more careful from now. I really don't usually vlog because it's just kind of hard for me to vlog because I don't say the name of the town I live in. Well, if I drive through town, it's got the name of the town on it. Uh, and I don't show my family, so there's just not a whole lot I can vlog. But Doug and I are going to try soon to go to the mountains so I can show the Smokies all decked out in the beautiful colors and how beautiful it is up there. So I can vlog it because it is out of town. So I'll do that soon, hopefully. So anyway, this is what I have on today. Uh, I think except for the eyeliner, I have on everything new that I have bought. So I thought I would talk about it. And I should be demonstrating the other day when I was putting it all on, uh, I've demonstrated it. So I will start. I have bought three foundations recently and I like to wear foundations for a while before I make a final judgment on them. Uh, the first foundation that I bought, uh, it is good. I don't know yet how it compares to my very favorite foundation which, which is the Lancome Stick Foundation. This is the liquid version of it. I got the same color, 320 is always my color and it matched up just perfectly. But what I'm going to have to do is wear it half and half with the Lancome Stick Foundation for a few days to see which one is the best or if they're just pretty equal with each other. So that'll be an interesting experiment, but I do like it on first wear. I do like it a lot and it lasts nicely. It's just a nice foundation. The, it's the Tank E Doll Ultra Wear uh, from it's got a little sunscreen in it too, 15, from Lancome. So that's the first one. Reserving judgment for a final, whether it's going to be like in my favorites, but it is a good one. Uh, the next one I, I really like. I have it on today, and I'm going to show me applying it the other day. Uh, it is from MAC, and it is I watched a video from my friend Natalie, the beauty diva, and she did a full face uh, one brand makeup from MAC, and I thought, MAC, gosh, I haven't looked at MAC in a long time. I got to look at their foundations, discovered they had a cream to powder. I love cream to powder. My favorite one of all time got discontinued, and so um, I, you know, was looking around for another one. The Milani is a really good one. I've talked about it before. I really like it. This is an excellent one. Uh, I've tried different ways of putting it on. I don't like to put on any kind of creams with a damp sponge. That's just me. I just worry that it's going to mold my makeup or something like that. I don't know. I just, that's silly, I know, but I just, I don't feel, I just don't like to put it on with a damp sponge. So I did the little dry sponge that came with it and that did okay, you know, but you have to blend it out, you know, you can apply it with this sponge and then you have to kind of blend it out with your fingers. And then I put it on with my fingers and uh, then with a brush too. So uh, any of those would work. The brush worked really well. I didn't have to do as much touch up work with my fingers as I did with this sponge. Uh, so the third foundation, I hate to say this, this is one I don't like. You know how I remember I did this with the It Cosmetics CC Cream Foundation. How everybody talks about a foundation and you think, yeah, that, that's going to be great for me. And it doesn't. And you don't quite learn your lesson and you months later you'll buy it again. Yeah, that's going to work for me. I did that with the, with the It Cosmetics CC Foundation. And I've done it again. I've tried this one before. It is by Laura Geller. It is the Baked Balance in Brighton. And people, so many women love this. 
it's just not the one for me. Um, I just really tried to work with it. I worked with a sponge. I worked with a damp sponge. I worked with a brush. I, I just applied and applied. It just didn't give me any coverage. Uh, it just looked like a powder. I'm kind of sitting on my skin. I just, it just didn't work for my skin, but I know a lot of people really like it. So I was sad because I, I want to, I want to like what the other women like. <laughs> I don't want to be left out, but that's, this one doesn't work for me. I hate to say it. Okay, I have this on today. I don't usually wear a bronzer, but I put it on today. Um, I bought this one from Physicians Formula. It is that uh, butter bronzer. Uh, oh, it smells so good. It smells kind of a little like coconut, but I got the Sunset Bronzer color. It's still got the, you know, I've used it quite a few times, but it's still got the, the design on it. But it is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Like I said, I don't usually wear a bronzer, but I just had heard so much about it. And like I said, I like to be like the other women sometimes. Uh, so I bought it and I really am enjoying it. I'll sometimes use it as blush. In fact, I forgot to put on blush. Let me do that. Okay. I'm not starting over again. That, this, I'm going on. But yes, this is a great bronzer. Uh, I really like it a whole lot. It's, it's just beautiful. And the smell is to die for and it's a good price point. Really nice, really nice. Next, I'm going to talk about uh, this eyeshadow that I have on, the eyeshadow palette. I don't buy every eyeshadow palette. I buy maybe some, more than some, but not as much as others. I, I look at them and I think about if I really like them, what kind of looks I could do. Uh, so I did buy this one from Too Faced. I have not, I didn't buy any of the pumpkin ones in several years. I have have not bought some things that they put out, but I did buy this one. It is the Cinnamon Swirl, and the packaging is just adorable. Isn't that cute? And these are the colors. I was so attracted to this. I saw, I think it was Emily Noel do a look with this, and I just fell in love with it. I really liked it, so I did get it. I have used it and used it and used it. This one and the Wayne Goss with the gray. Uh, I have I've used those all fall, and I just, I love this, and I love it for two eyeshadow looks. So the first eyeshadow look is a purple one. I love this color right here, and I paired it, this, I put this all over, and this in the crease kind of, you know, blended above. I just think that is so beautiful. And I take the purple and kind of put it all underneath and then take the darker purple and kind of put it on the outside too. And here's the thing, this, like this purple is a, you know, it's a sparkly, it's got shimmer in it, almost glitter, but it doesn't really look at, I mean, I put it in my crease and I, I just don't usually put shimmers in my crease, but I did and it just seemed to work. It didn't, it didn't look like a shimmer on me. Um, so I was really impressed with that. I really, really like this palette a lot. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then, uh, I can, so I did sort of a coolish look with it, and then a warmer look with these, you know, these through here. Like that. The look that I had on today is sort of a neutral look. In fact, I just used gold eyeshadow right there on the lid, and then just a couple, I think, yeah, this one in the crease, and then this one underneath just a little bit. Just a light, light look. So, I'm very happy with this. I have worn and worn and worn it. Cinnamon swirl. It doesn't really smell like, it smells a little like cinnamon. Uh, I thought it would smell like a cinnamon roll. Those Pillsbury cinnamon rolls that, that we used to eat back in the, back in the day with the, the icing that came in the little thing. And, uh, but it doesn't. But it does smell a little cinnamony. I just love it. Like I said, I didn't buy any of the rest of the Too Faced, but I did want this one. It's beautiful. Okay, before I get to lipsticks, because I've got on a bold one, I bought the OPI 
Now I do get my nails done. I get, I guess acrylics and then she uses that powder. She puts acrylics on at the very beginning on the ends, like tips. And then every time she uses just a little powder to fill in. So from now on, I'm just having her do that. I did, I was getting like a gel and I had a dark blue. Well, I had some breathing problems. We were stripping some stuff downstairs and I inhaled, I guess, a bunch of the fumes. And I had to go to the doctor, go on steroids and stuff because I, I was having trouble with my breathing. So uh, in order to, to check my, my oxygen levels, I was, you know, putting an oximeter on my finger. Well, it wasn't through that blue gel nail polish. It wasn't showing up. Now, I've since learned you can turn it over to the side and get a reading that way, but I couldn't get a reading, so I had to file all that polish off, uh, the dark blue gel polish. I had to file it off to be able to get a reading to kind of monitor my oxygen. So I thought, well, with me having asthma and with the winter coming up and everything, I better not get any dark 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 colors of gel nails anymore so i'm just doing she's just doing the the clear powder you know that she puts on and all this to say and then i can put my own nail polish on it that i can take off very quickly if i need to with some acetone free nail polish remover but this one is funny bunny i have it on nail and it's time it's been through about I think it's been two and a half, three weeks since I've had my nails done. So it probably, yeah, it's going to have to be done again. Maybe I can go one more week. Sometimes I can go a month. But uh, Funny Bunny, that's what I have on it. And I really like it a whole lot. And it's just going to be easy if I need to check those levels. I can just take it off very quickly and I'll have to file it off like I did with the gels. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, I have bought some lipsticks. Now, I'll just go ahead and talk about the one I have on. Uh, my friend Natalie that did the MAC Get Ready With Me, she talked about, she used a red lipstick, but she said she talked about Russian Red uh, by MAC. And so I thought, oh, I hear so many people talk about that. I'm going to get it. So uh, I have it on today with a neutral eye that, you know, the neutral eye that I got with the cinnamon swirl. So it's just a beautiful color beautiful 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 color gorgeous 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 color mm. it's a classic the second color that I bought it was someone told me on Instagram said if you're at Walmart look at the hard candy it's the Marilyn Monroe uh, satin lipstick and the color is nude. I like a I like a pretty nude. Now I usually wear in my nudes either a pink nude or a coral nude or a coral pink kind of nude, something in there. This one is different from any other nude that I have because it is kind of a rosy, kind of a dusty rose nude. I no, normally don't like that, but I feel like it goes well with the two purple colors in the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette. There it is, and I will show it on my lips. Okay, and then the other uh, nude that I got, I'm gonna go back and look at more of these lipsticks. It's the Maybelline Ultimat. Ult Ultimate <laughs> lipstick. It is absolutely beautiful. Now this one is more of a brownish color. It is called uh, More Buff and it's beautiful. But the thing I like about this, this is a lipstick you can put into your purse and you won't necessarily need a liner and it will last, but it's gonna be really creamy too. Especially if you take off your mask and wanna put on a quick lipstick right quick. This is gonna be a good one. It's beautiful. I love the shape of it. I love the feel of it. I love the formula. I'm gonna look at more of these lipsticks. Beautiful. Maybelline Ultimates. Gorgeous. Well, that is it. I've spoken for 20 minutes. That is it. Everybody take care and have a wonderful weekend coming up. Stay safe. I appreciate y'all watching so much. I guess I should say subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. <laughs> And then the bell to be notified whenever I put up a video. I'm going to try to do more videos. I really am. I get, 
I get busy. I'm busy woman. I'm busy woman. I'm really not. I get lazy, but I like to pretend I'm a busy woman. Let's put it that way. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to y'all later, and thanks again. Bye-bye.